What up, what up? Welcome back to Benny O's Fishing, guys. So, middle of tuning some baits, going through my tackle, um, pretty much, you know, looking at what I need to kind of buy for this upcoming season. Luckily, we have the Fishing Expo here in uh, Massachusetts. It's going to be February 2nd through the 4th. I'll be working down there, to be honest with you. So, I'm obviously going to be walking around the show, and I'm more than likely going to be buying just like the rest of you guys. So, what... What am I talking about here? You know, let me unpack this here for a second. You know, I went through my baits realistically and I, I noticed that I have kind of started to make a mistake or I, I've started to notice a trend in my tackle box. So I noticed, to be honest with you, that I seem to have a little bit more plethora of my shad patterns. So now that I'm going to the expo, and I noticed that I have a little bit more of a plethora of my shad patterns. I'm gonna be looking at getting some more bait fish patterns, some more crawfish patterns, you know, and in different colors, so to speak, and not just buy five more of a shad pattern. So take a look at your tackle box, guys. You know, go through it. Make sure you don't just have one kind of pattern in your tackle box or or one specific color in your tackle box. You know, a lot of times, you know, you you get into the custom that this bait works and you need multiple of them because you know you may lose it for whatever reason you know just make sure you don't overstock yourself with one particular pattern um you know it's okay to have a tackle box dedicated to all crawfish patterns you know and same thing with bait fish and in and, and shad patterns and all different types you know also one thing you got to pay attention to is you know, if you notice this one's a little bit more see-through, that's more of a translucent, make sure you get some translucent crankbaits out there. You know, they, they do have them. They're going to play a purpose in, a, in specific lakes, possibly, or not specific lakes. You never know. But make sure you can adjust through your crankbaits, you know, when you have them. Don't, don't just have one particular kind. You know, you're really doing yourself an injustice. It's kind of a mistake that I've allowed myself to do. So learn from my mistake here. And understand that when you do go shopping for baits, make sure you're not just buying the same old bait over and over again. Make sure you're really expanding your collection. You know, that's a, that's a huge deal. You know, you're not always going to fish the same bodies of water all the time. You're going to venture out and you're going to go different places. And it would be nice, you know, if you had different styles, different colors, and all that stuff with your crankbaits. Because it is going to help you catch more fish at the end of the day just having one particular kind of something isn't really going to help um but other than that guys that's all i really got for you on this one i hope to see you guys next weekend uh february 2nd through the 4th but anyways i'll get at you on the next one come down and say hi peace